I'm starting with the book today. The Milk Stout, also known as a Cream Ale or Sweet Stout, is a particular type of dark ale, that is a stout, brewed with an addition of lactose or milk sugar. The milk sugar is unfermentable by brewing yeasts and therefore contributes body and a mild sweetness to the finished beer. This milk sugar also contributes to the mouthfeel of the beer, which is often described as creamy. And then other stuff. Hey, this is Matthew. I will be chewing the brew today, drinking and probably enjoying Left Hand Brewing's Double Milk Stout. Hey all. So uh, Left Hand Brewing's pretty easy to find for me um, in the Northwest. They are brewed in Longmont, Colorado, so I'm guessing probably most of the West Coast and pretty much anywhere in the Midwest can probably find them pretty easily. And I believe they are particularly known for their Nitro Milk Stout. Um, at least that's the beer of theirs that I see most frequently on the shelves. And I've had it and it's pretty good. Uh, I had one, one or well, a few cans. I think that um, appeared overcharged, like you couldn't pour them without the head just exploding everywhere, and and it was impossible to fit them inside a pint glass and all that stuff. I know with with nitros you have to do a, a hard pour, that is, you turn the can upside down and chug chug chug, which seems like totally the wrong thing to do in pouring from a can or a bottle, um, but it is the right thing to do with nitros in general. And I know with that one, I had some trouble. <laughs> and I don't know if it was just an off batch or bad skill. Could have been either, could have been both. Um, but this double milk stout is once again, thanks to the uh, wonderful Evan. Thank you, Evan, again. <laughs> I'm going through all of your beers to make videos. Um, so this is a double down, decadent notes of milk chocolate, roasted coffee, brown sugar, and vanilla cream. And uh, yeah, 10.5% ABV, so a pretty hefty one too. Anyways, let's uh, start with the smell. Uh, brown sugar, definitely. This has been sitting out of the fridge for probably 10-15 minutes. I tried to actually place it under a heater vent to bring it up a bit in temperature more quickly. Um, I didn't really want it to be chilled when I drank it. Typically, I found milk stouts to be very smooth, as the, the the encyclopedia suggests, and typically also to the sweet side. And then those are also obviously balanced by the brewers with the roasted flavors typical to stouts. Um, so I guess if I were approaching, and this is entirely from a guest perspective, if I were approaching creating or brewing a milk stout, I would focus on a drier beer base to which I would then add those sugars that would um, not be eaten up by the brewing yeasts and that would end up in the finished product. You know think of making a think of how Starbucks constructs a drink. They start with a pretty burnt bitter coffee and then they add sugar and chocolate and cream to it to create a relatively tasty treat, right? So I would think of similar principles when putting together a milk stout and uh, Let's see. Let's judge them by my entirely arbitrary standards. <laughs> so I'm smelling an earthiness and kind of brown sugar. So not really, um, there's not a huge amount of, um, like I'm not picking up chocolate yet. Um, no molasses. Um, brown sugar tends to smell relatively mild in my experience. And uh, it's not as characterless as white sugar but it's approaching that. Ooh, getting in deeper. Okay, there's some toast. Yeah, oh, that's nice. Little, so like brown sugar on toast, which sounds amazing, actually. <laughs> yeah, smells good. Smells like it's probably gonna taste okay. There might even be a hint of smokiness. No one's burning in the area that I can tell. 
So this would definitely be coming from the beer itself. Yeah, yeah, some, some toastiness there. Let's uh, see how it tastes. Oh, wow, that is sweet. Goodness, that's sweet. Okay, almond. The malts, the malts are, there's some, there's some other uh, nutty flavor going on there. Really sweet, quite sweet. I guess with a double, with a double stout, with an imperial, you know, so double, it's, it's more than 8% ABV, um, requires more malt, requires more sugar going into the brewing process so the yeast can gobble more, create more alcohol, and then they're adding this unfermentable yeast, this lact, or unfermentable sugar, this, this lactose, and then that's carrying through. It's very sweet, and, and frankly, being colder would probably diminish the sweetness. Um, not that it's out of balance, just that it's really sweet. And it's a really like sugar sweetness. It's not, it's not a molasses sweetness or caramel sweetness. It's, it's a sugar sweetness. Like white sugar. Um, but there's that, I want to say nutty, but it's, it's almost like a, some baked good, like, like the flour on the outside of a sugar cookie, but it's not necessarily just flour. It's, it's interesting. And it's probably the most um, prominent flavor besides the sugar itself, which is interesting. It's it's kind of approaching the almond. I don't know. It's I'm I'm trying to, it. The flavor is familiar to me, but I'm having a hard time deciding what to call it. The sweetness, while it is very sweet, the sweetness is not thick. It's, it's present and it actually lingers like it is only just now fading. So three, four, five seconds. Uh, sugar typically in my experience fades pretty quickly, especially if it's like, you know, sugar water. Um, but this it's, it's like lingering. Oh, there's the nuttiness coming back. That's pretty cool. Um, and then, but in this sweetness, it's, it, it, it's, it's a candy, like a, a sugar like sweetness, but it, it really lingers. And then you get this this uh, nuttiness that kind of builds. Not really picking up chocolate yet. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Milk, chocolate, roasted coffee, brown sugar, and vanilla cream. Yeah, I can see that. I can definitely see this. So, uh... Well, let me take another swig here. I want to see if I can figure out how they all fit together. This is too sweet to 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 drink quickly, right? You you need to take your time with it. Um, I think it would be paired best with a with something that's less sweet but still. Um, a candy of some sort, a, a dark chocolate or something like that, or a, a really lightly sweetened cream, um, or possibly a butter cookie, um, something that's not really sweet, or that, that has some sweetness to it, but has some complementary flavors that um, this will help balance and that will help balance this. This has, in addition to the sweetness, it does go into an interesting nuttiness. That vanilla cream I can definitely see. Um, but right now it reads just like, like super sweet. Super sweet. Super sweet. And, and yeah, that, that's what it is. So it is a very, very sweet um, double milk stout. Very sweet. And uh, I've said sweet a lot of times reviewing this. I really have. Um, I'm not sure that I can or should apologize for that. It's just sweet. <laughs> and some beers are like that. And this is one of those. So I think I'm going to leave it at that. Anyways, this is me, Matthew. I've been drinking and definitely enjoying double or left, 
Left Mountain's Double Hand Stout Milk. Left Hand Brewing Company's Double Milk Stout. And uh, it is a seasonal seasonal. And I will catch y'all on the flip side.